Hey guys, I'm Joey. Welcome back to another episode of Over the Table's Random Reviews. Today's product is something a little different than the typical eBay product that I've been reviewing. Today's product is something I spent about two hours in Walmart finding and searching for a couple different budget-friendly items and DIY projects for you guys. But today's product is a wireless keyboard that I got. It was about 18 bucks, not too expensive. It has a keyboard and a mouse. I want to turn an old 40 inch TV into a monitor for my laptop so that way I can edit my videos on a larger screen and I'm going to need a wireless keyboard to do that. So it's all packaged right here. Let's open it up and check it out. All right guys, so here is the product. It is a Logitech keyboard and mouse. Let's take a look at the box, see what details we can grab from it. Now you can see up here in this top corner, it says it's got a 36 month battery time on the keyboard and an 18 month on the mouse, which is all really good stuff. It is a combo full size keyboard. It's got full size comfort, computer at your fingertips. There's additional buttons to help make things easier. Everything looks pretty darn good. It's got adjustable height. Let's open this thing up and see what it's made of. So we're gonna use this little pen knife here to open up any uh, any little sticker or little thing keeping it together. Perfect. All right, boom. Pretty cheap stuff, but it could be pretty nice. So initially we're gonna pull out the keyboard. It is protected in some plastic, keeps uh, keeps them from getting damaged in the shipping process, even though it wasn't shipped from Walmart, but it was shipped from somewhere because I'm sure they didn't make it in that store. And then we've also got our mouse here, which is again, protected in some plastic. We'll go ahead and take that out. It's got additional plastic here to protect uh, the whole like trim from getting bad. And then I'm sure this is the little battery pull tab for your battery in your mouse. Let's go ahead and take this little plastic off because we don't need it. So it's gonna pull off just like that. And you can see it's a really nice look. It is made of plastic. It's got your sensors and whatnot on the bottom. Batteries are interchangeable. I think it just looks like a simple double A, but again, it's supposed to last a really long time, which is good. Looks like you got a little storage uh, spot in there for the thing that plugs into the computer that makes it wireless. All right. So it is a really nicely sized full size keyboard. It's even got an on and off switch at the top corner there. Really, really, really nice. A nice black look. Not sure if there are multiple colors, but that is good that it's got that. You've got different kinds of video controls up here at the top, which is good to have. And it does have adjustable feet in the back, so that way you can angle it up, so that way you're not uh, kind of arching over with your wrist to type. Let's go ahead and pull this tab out for these batteries, which is two AAA batteries. I can see by the indicator there. Okay, so we got our keyboard. We've got our mouse. The piece that plugs into the computer's gotta be somewhere, right? Oh, haha. So hidden in the box right here is where your little USB wireless piece fits. Uh, I'm not sure why they would put it there, but uh, cause I almost didn't even see it, but there it is. So this is essentially gonna plug right into the USB port on your computer. And then your keyboard and mouse apparently are both gonna connect to the computer at the same time wirelessly. So let's go ahead and plug this thing into a computer. All right guys, so I've got my laptop here and a uh, standard 40 inch TV that's pretty old that I mean, it's not that old, it's a couple years old. We're gonna go ahead and take this uh, little USB connector piece and we're gonna plug it right into the USB port on the side of the computer. There are multiple ports. I don't think it matters that much which one you plug it into, but it should be pretty easy to plug and play. I'm assuming that this thing's already gonna be connected and everything's gonna be working. All right guys, it took almost no effort at all to get this set up. You can see that the mouse works great. It's uh, very responsive. 
I'm sure it'd be even better on a mouse pad. Everything works nicely. Now if I go into a program like Movie Maker, you can see that you get a pretty good idea of what's going on. Oh yeah, that's gonna make a huge difference when it comes to editing video. Wow. And then I'm sure we can adjust volume, which we can from here. You can see the volumes going down. Really, really nice controls. If we click the home button. Yeah, it took us right, right to Google. Huh, well, that's, that's nice to know. Let's see what happens when I turn off the keyboard. Okay. Question is, Yep, the keyboard is off. It's no longer controlling anything. If we turn it back on, it's back to controlling stuff. That's good to know in case you wanna turn it off to conserve battery, make it last even longer. I wanna know how this scroll wheel works. Little project I was doing to make a logo for a friend. And yep, the scroll wheel works. I mean, it feels a little weird, a little cheap, but as you can see, it definitely, definitely works. Let's just. You can see the keyboard very responsive, not too loud. I mean, it's about, it's about the normal volume of a keyboard. It's what you would expect, but it is really nice, especially when you get a good angle going on it. So that way, it's nice and leaned more towards you instead of away from you. It's a really nice little setup, I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely gonna enjoy editing videos a lot more with this setup than I am on just my laptop because it's kind of a small screen. I do have a studio kit that is coming in in the next couple days and that's gonna be pretty darn nice. Really, really add a lot of nice aesthetic uh, options to my videos, which I hope you guys will appreciate. Pretty nice little setup. I'm definitely happier with this than I was with what I had. And this wireless keyboard and mouse definitely made things easier. So that's gonna be it for the wireless keyboard and wireless mouse. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick little review of the wireless keyboard and mouse combo. Again, I did get it at Walmart. Pretty decent price, not bad, especially for what you're getting. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you take a second and click the subscribe button. It'll be right there. If you wanna check out the last video of the channel, it'll be up there. If you wanna check out the playlist, it'll be right up there. Have a great day, everybody. And as always, don't get shot.